Hi, hello there. My name is Kayla and welcome to my channel. Thank you so much for being here with me today. I really appreciate it. In today's video, as you could tell by the title, by the thumbnail, we are comparing the BoxyCharm box to the Ipsy Glam Bag. This is the standard $25 BoxyCharm subscription box and this is the standard $12 Ipsy Glam Bag. I haven't opened these up yet. I don't know what's in here. I know two things that are in this Ipsy Glam Bag because I chose one of them as an add-on so one of these items does not come with the Glam Bag. And Ipsy gives you the choice to choose one of the items that you want in the Glam Bag. So I know what two of these items are. I know what one of the the standard item is just because I had that choice. I like watching these types of videos so if you like watching Ipsy and BoxyCharm unboxing videos make sure you give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I pay for these by myself. I don't have a affiliate or anything like that. I'm gonna, I pay for them so I can give you my honest opinions. And first I think we're gonna start out with the BoxyCharm one. This is the one that's more expensive. This one's $25. All right, so this month's theme is Candy Shop. This really cool little bloody candy card. And the first item I have in here is a little baggie from Hip Dot. Okay, so we got two sponges, very, very soft. These like periwinkle blue little sponges from Hip Dot, super cute. The retail value of this duo is $18. So I'm excited to try these out. Ooh. So next up, we have a full-size Murad Hydration Exfoliating Cleanser. Polishes away dull, dry skin without irritation. Reveals smoother texture and a brighter, younger-looking complexion. Okay, I know Murad is relatively expensive. Let's see how much this retails for. This retails for 40 bucks. Oh my god. I wonder if it smells. Probably not. I'm just gonna try a little bit on my finger here. Okay, it does have like a little bit of like grainy texture to it and it has no smell. <laughs> Next up, we got a Sol de Janeiro Brazilian Kiss Tinted Lip Butter. Oh my god. Oh. If you've watched any of my videos, you know I love Sol de Janeiro. It's so good. Like, how much does this typically retail for? This typically retails for 20 bucks. Wow. This is really, really pretty. Oh my goodness. Mm, it smells just like the Bum Bum Cream and just like their regular lip balm. Oh my gosh. This totally like made the box for me. I'm so excited. And this is just what it looks like up close. The component is this absolutely beautiful like rose goldy color. And this is what the actual lip balm itself looks like. And this is what it looks like swatched. I don't even know if you guys can see that. It is just a very, very sheer wash of color. It felt super hydrating on my hand and I'm really excited to try this out. I currently have lipstick on right now, so I'm not gonna put this on, but ugh. This made the box for me. All right, next up we have this Grown Alchemist Matte Balancing Moisturizer. I've never heard of this before. Let's see, a mattifying non-greasy hydrating moisturizer that leaves combination skin looking balanced, clear, and beautifully radiant. I have very, 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 very oily skin, so I'm really excited about this. Oh wow, so it actually looks like a tube of hair color. Is it just me or does this look like a tube of hair color? It's like a metal packaging sort of thing. It feels like oh. tube of hair color. <laughs> and it says here this typically retails for $69. Okay, so you just poke it open with the lid. It has a sort of like clean smell to it, very lightly fragranced, but it doesn't smell bad. It smells very like clean. So I'm really excited to try this out today. Yeah, it smells very, very clean. Oh, okay. So next up, we got a pretty vulgar nesting face, <laughs> um, face palette. Oh, wow. Okay. So we get six shades. It looks like we get two bronzer shades, a sort of shimmery bronzer, two blushes, and like a highlight blush topper. It also comes with a mirror. I didn't know pretty vulgar was still making stuff. To be honest, I thought they were like out. But this face palette typically retails for 32 bucks. I'm gonna go ahead and swatch some of these shades on my arm here for you. Here are 
all the shades from the face palette swatched. This sort of shimmery bronzer shade swatched excellent. It was super smooth, buttery, very pigmented. I can say I am honestly pretty impressed with this palette. I didn't think it was going to swatch that well, but a plus. All right, so that is everything I got in the boxy charm. I have to say the Sol de Janeiro Brazilian Kiss Tinted Lip Butter really just made the box for me. So good. Smells so good. I'm so excited to try this. I'm also really impressed that we had a full-size murad exfoliator. I'm excited to use this tonight. Now moving on to the Ipsy Glam Bag. Let's see what we have here. Okay, right off the bat we have the add-on that I purchased. This is the Glow Recipe Watermelon Glow Pore Tightening Toner. I've heard really good things about Glow Recipe and I was in the market for a new toner, so I added this on in the little add-on section. I believe I paid like 12 bucks for it, but I'm really excited to use it this evening. I have like a whole new skincare thing going on tonight. It does smell a little bit like watermelon. Yeah, it's it has a slight watermelon scent to it, but very, very, very minimal. You, you have to really go in there. And this is just what the product looks like up close. It comes in this really, really interesting bottle that's like glass but it's also sort of textured and warped which is really interesting so i'm super excited about using this tonight okay so this wasn't in the actual bag but this is a luxy brush oh my goodness this is so pretty <gasps> wow this is the luxy 640 pro precision tapered brush very, very soft. I love the like periwinkle blue color on the handle. Luxie brushes are honestly just some of the top tier brushes. I have a couple of them. A plus. Very, very soft. I'm super excited to try this. And here we have the Ipsy Glam Bag. I love this month's bag. On the zipper, there's a little moon and a star. On the back, it says your magic. And this is just what the bag looks like up close. I love the gold detailing. It's so pretty. It's definitely a spooky. October vibe. I really love that they nailed it with the theme of this month. And here is just the back of the bag where it says your magic. This is probably one of my favorite bags that I've gotten from Ipsy Glam Bag already. I just love the actual bag. It's so cute. It fits my personality because I am magic and you're magic too. All right, so we're opening up the bag. Let's see. All right, so the first thing we got here is a full-size Ciate London Fierce Flicks eyeliner and it says this here originally retails for $19. I typically don't use felt tip eyeliners, but I'm gonna go ahead and try it out. Wow. And this is just what the eyeliner looks like up close. It is a very precise felt tip eyeliner. And this is just what it looks like swatched, very pigmented, very black, pretty good. Next up, we got a It Cosmetics Lash Blowout Mascara. I love it when they put uh, mascaras in my glam bag just because mascaras go bad pretty quickly. And I like having little ones so I can try out just different mascaras, you know? So this is what the mascara wand looks like. It is pretty fluffy. I'm super excited to try this out. And next, we got a little teeny tiny sample size of the Benefit Give Me Brow. This is in the shade 3. It is really, really tiny, but I'm excited to just play with this. And this is just what the little teeny tiny wand looks like. And this is what the color is. And last but not least, we got the Briogeo Farewell Frizz Milk Leave-In Conditioning Spray. Wow. I wonder if it smells. It has some sort of fragrance to it. It's not like fruity and it's not sweet. Like it doesn't smell like vanilla. It doesn't smell bad either. It kind of just has like that sort of clean smell to it. Nevertheless, I'm still excited to try this out. <laughs> All right, you guys, so that is it. We have officially unboxed and unbagged everything. As far as which one I like better, it's hard to say because the Boxy Charm, you're paying $25, whereas the Ipsy, you're only paying 12, but I feel like just I'm gonna get more use out of the stuff I got from the Ipsy bag, whereas I got more sort of skincare stuff in the Boxy Charm. However, the Sol de Janeiro Brazilian Kiss Tinted Butter really just 
sealed the deal on the BoxyCharm box for me. Whereas I got all of these little things in the Ipsy Glam bag that I could use a whole lot. But yeah, that is it for today's video. Let me know in the comments down below which one you prefer, the BoxyCharm or the Ipsy Glam Bag. Are you subscribed to BoxyCharm or Ipsy Glam Bag? What do you think about them? Do you like these sort of BoxyCharm, Ipsy Glam Bag unboxing videos? Let me know in the comments down below. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Everything that I have on my face today will be linked in the description box down below as well as all of my social medias. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Bye! <laughs>